Okay, I know I've had a few of these snowy egrets in the real-time edits recently, but I had a really good shoot with them, so here's another one. This one, unlike one of the previous ones I did, is in much, much, much better light. So I'm just going to start with a crop here. I wish I would have had a little bit more in front of it, but this thing was coming across so fast, I just had center focus point and stuck with it. Uh, so I'm going to lighten it, and then I really want to enhance those golden tones. I'm actually going to punch the highlight contrast just a little bit there, bring up the shadows just a touch, and then back with the contrast. And so again, I lost my blue tone in the background, but I'll bring that back in in Photoshop, which is where I'm headed right now. Okay, first things first, I'm just going to clone out a couple of things I don't like. Mainly this, I don't know, this stuff is just distracting to me along the water line there. So I'm just going to clean these areas up a little bit. That kind of lumpy stuff. And the healing brush definitely made a bit of a pattern there, so I'm going to have to try and alleviate that with the clone tool. I don't want it to be all patterned up. And there we go. That's soft there. And then there was some other, I think a mix of snowy and gray egrets way in the back there. And it's going to be time to get rid of them. So I'll start with getting rid of the reflection here. We'll just kind of clone that across real nice and soft and easy. Same thing with this reflection over here. So I, I almost never use the clone overlay. I just don't like the way it works, except for when I'm trying to line things up like that. That's the one time I will use it, So, uh, but I shouldn't need it for these big ones here. It's really weird. There's like this kind of odd like white line going through the background. I wonder what that's all about. Maybe it's like the water line in the grasses or something. I don't know. Anyway, let's get rid of these white blobs in the background. They are not fun back there. And they're not even really bird shaped, so they're just kind of ugly blobs of stuff. I'm just going to get rid of that white line that's kind of going through back here. I don't know why, it's just bothering me. Okay, um, just a weird dark spot there, so we'll get rid of that. And now I'm just going to clone out some of the darker kind of tones that are hitting the sky up there. All right, looking good. All right, so we have white feathers, but we still have detail in them. That's exactly how I want it. In this case, the eye is, whoops, the eye is facing away from the light just a little bit, so it's not quite as bright as it could be if it had the sun shining right in it. So there, I'll just punch that up a little bit. You know, normally I would kind of, I mean, maybe I could do just a little bit of lightning in these yellow legs just to kind of really... I mean, they're, all, they're already pretty bright, so I think I'll leave it as is. And then the only other thing I want to get is I want to get more blue tone back in that sky. So I'm just going to add that in here, and then I'll just manually paint it in. Real simple with a big soft brush. There we go. Now we got blue tone up there. We'll put some blue tone in that water back there and definitely in the reflection. I'm going to overlap the bird in the reflection there and the the legs but then I'll just come back in and paint that back out so it is no longer affecting that area because I don't want to take any of the yellow away from the legs or the reflection I, I definitely want to keep those warm tones there we go see that that warm yellow tone in the reflection there as well just kind of trying to take advantage of color contrast. In this case, the blue and the yellow kind of contrast each other and stand out. You know, I may have gone a little bit too light with the bird itself, so I'm just going to pop the whole thing down just a touch here in Photoshop. I'll make the background a little bit more dramatic. There we go. And maybe went too far. Bring that up a couple clicks, and I think we're good to go. Nice, easy edit on this one. I'll save this. I'll head back to Lightroom and reset it. And while I'm waiting for that to happen, as always, I just want to let you know, if you like what you saw here and want to learn more step-by-step, step, you can get in touch with me and I'll be happy to um, set up a remote session with you where I'll actually train you exactly how I'm doing what I'm doing here. And we'll go through it step-by-step. Step. I'll answer any questions you have. 
and we can do either Lightroom or Photoshop or both. So just visit my website, rayhennessy.com, and get in touch with me. You can shoot me an email or anything, and we can talk about working together to learn all these techniques. In any case, original here on the left, finished image on the right, definitely much cleaner without those um, other birds in the background, a little bit of uh, horizon cleanup where the bird was standing there, and then some color enhancements. So there's the difference in the both. There's the final image. Thanks for watching.